Wow. Torquey. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a 2022 Ford F-150 XLT with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah for giving me some time with this F-150. Check out the inventory in the description down below. And if you're looking to purchase a new Ford or order a new Ford, Ed Kenley does not charge over MSRP for any Ford, whether it's a Raptor or a regular XLT like this. So reach out to them, let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter V6 that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 325 horsepower and then 400 pound-feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the XLT. So first off, we have Ford's new uh, wavy hood is what I like to uh, describe it as because it kind of goes uh, up and then down and then up and then down again. Coming down below, we've got the LED accent lights here with the LED reflector lights and then the accent light actually continues into the fog light region. We've got the chrome bumpers and then the chrome front grille as well and then chrome all around the Ford logo. Tow hooks there at the very bottom. And yeah, there's the front end. Now coming around the side here, they've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see the chrome design on the wheels themselves look absolutely fantastic. And then here's a quick look at the tread pattern on these tires and then the front suspension as well. Notice we got our F-150 XLT badge here on the side. You guys can see the patterning here on the mirrors and then the door handles are finished in chrome. We've got side steps with some more chrome on them as well. And then here is your full side view with the XLT. Now notice we got the 4x4 sticker there on the back. And then you guys can see here with the leaf springs and the whole setup here in the rear with the shocks. And there you go. Now here is the key fob. We've got our unlock, lock, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. And we have a payload capacity of 1,471 pounds. You guys can see here the measuring tables on the back. We've got LED lights. We've got a full power outlet back here. And then you can see on the other side of the LED light. And then those are for the cargo tie downs. And then, yeah, full spray and bed liner already. Definitely solid. And then we have Ford's bed step with this truck as well. Uh, and then lifting up the tailgate. It is a little bit on the heavier side, but it's easy enough to get up. Now, finishing things up here in the rear, we've got the XLT taillights, which are the base taillights for the new F-150. You can see the exhaust tip down below. Got our EcoBoost badge. Parking sensors here along the rear. And there's that. Now, here's the door panel in the rear. I love the trim here at the top of the XLT. And then you've got nice padding down below. You're going to rest your arm. And then you guys can see... A little insert piece right there. And I've got the cloth seats, really cool design here with the seats and then notice how it's kind of like darker here on the center portion. We've got some cup holders here and then down below I've got all of the charging ports with the vents, all that fun stuff. And other than that, let's actually pop in. So stepping in, side step helps out quite a bit. You guys can see leg room, great. Headroom, also great. And let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. Again, you have that same design here at the top and then down below with the padding. And then you guys can see all the window controls, the mirror adjustments, door lock and unlock. And then these mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then here are the front seats again with the lighter colored cloth and then the darker gray just down below. We've got all of our power adjustments right there. Pedal layout just down below. We've got our pedal adjustment here with the parking brake, all of our light controls and mirror lights, drop down for the tailgate, steering wheels manually adjustable, and let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel for the F-150 XLT. You guys can see really nice trim all around the steering wheel. Got the contrast and stitching here in the center portion. Controls here for the center stack. We've got our voice command, volume controls, cruise control here on this side. Turn signal windshield wiper stock. And we've got a column shifter here. Notice we've got the plus and minus for that 10 speed automatic and then the manual mode. And I love the feeling on this column shifter. This is definitely the nicest column shifter I've ever uh, experienced. And there you go. Now here is the center gauge cluster. You can see we've got analog gauges for the speed and for the RPMs. And then we have the center screen, which will give you different bits of information on the truck. You guys can see like the tires, for example, off-road status, all that uh, fun stuff here in the center screen. Then you have a main menu, which you can scroll through. So like we can go into fuel economy, for example, uh, if we want. Um, so yeah, pretty cool to see all of that. And then we do have some different drive modes. So we've got our normal, tow haul, eco, sport. And then the other side, we've got our slippery, 
deep snow sand, and then our mud ruts. Um, so yeah, those are the different drive modes, and there's the center screen. We've got the camera button here at the top, hazard lights, stability control, and here is the infotainment system. So first off, we're gonna pop it into uh, reverse. There we go. Got trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel, and notice the camera takes up the full 12 inch display, and we can even zoom in there with the camera. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, this is the uh, 12 inch display. You guys know I'm a huge fan of it. It's really easy to use. They basically just like tacked on some extra screen uh, to their regular like eight, it's like eight point something inch display uh, basically. So it has all the same functionality, but then you have this like side screen right here, which you have all these menus that you can scroll through, which is definitely nice. You get like the split screen function. Um, so overall, really good infotainment system. This one has the Pro Trailer Assist. We've got our trailer brake controls down below. We've got our drive line select here. So this one has two wheel drive, four wheel high, and then four wheel low, no four wheel auto, and then our drive mode select. We've got our volume and radio controls there. Climbing controls, it does have a dual zone climb system. We've got heated seats here for the front passengers. Some extra storage space here in this area. And then you can see some more storage space here because it has a column shifter. And then we've got the cups, cup holders right there, not cups rather. And then you can see the center console, tons of storage space. Uh, within this and then we have the dual glove box definitely a really nice setup you can see the trim here on the outside of that glove box and then here on the dash as well which looks really good and then we do have a power setting window button for it is right here at the top sunglass holder and yeah that's all so here is the window sticker for this f-150 xlt uh, feel free to freeze frame if you're going to read all of the standard equipment and then we've got the options again feel free to freeze frame um, but you guys can see the base price. And then after all options, $55,075. And like I said, they don't charge over stickers. You're not gonna have to pay five, 10, $15,000 over sticker like other dealers. You just pay MSRP, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. There's visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors, which do a blind spot. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. We are getting up and moving here with this F-150 XL2 with the 2.7. Uh, first off, just like all the other F-150s, rides super smooth, really good cabin insulation. And uh, the new F-150 really does feel like a luxury vehicle, right? Still pickup truck, still super capable, but it also has that luxury vehicle feel to it, uh, which I really appreciate. Uh, and obviously, you know, one of my daily drivers is a, the new Raptor, which is a little bit different, but it's still an F-Series truck ultimately. And I can tell you, such a nice vehicle to daily drive. And so uh, this is no different. But you guys can see here the handling. Good for a pickup truck. Let's actually pop it into the sport mode. Let's see if I go the right direction this time. There we go. I always mix up the direction with the drive modes. I always twist it the wrong way. It's just... Uh, Silly me, you'd think I'd learn at this point. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna kind of go a little bit slower here. I guess I'll be a little bit mean to the person behind me so I can actually get acceleration force with this 2.7. Wow, Torquey, 2.7 punches. So uh, yeah, no problem getting up to highway speeds. Passing power with this powertrain would be fantastic. Definitely a huge uh, plus. So yeah, 2.7 is way stronger than I remember. Yeah, and you guys can hear on the highway, the truck's super quiet, super smooth with the suspension. And yeah, they've just nailed it uh, with the new F-Series trucks in terms of making it feel like a luxury vehicle. Yeah, and uh, you know what? I've talked about this in other videos with the leaf springs. You still can feel to an extent that it has leaf springs, but this is the best leaf spring setup ever. Uh, really smooth, really comfortable and it uh, doesn't do as much wheel hop as other trucks with leaf springs do so so getting up and moving a little bit more here i guess we will start to uh, get into summing things up here with this uh, xlt uh, so first off exterior wise uh, with all the chrome and everything it's got that just uh, you know good looking uh, kind of luxury truck exterior aesthetics right interior wise uh, the xlt is great the seats are really comfortable uh interior is really ergonomic everything is easy to use and you've got some nice materials like a lot of the controls and uh, like i said with like the calm shifter it feels really good at the actuation it's got the nice 12 inch display in this truck uh, and you know what for being you know kind of like your middle of the line truck it's it's got a nice uh, interior overall uh, and then from a driving perspective it's very comfortable very quiet it really does feel like a luxury vehicle like this uh is is a full-blown luxury vehicle at this point. 
Uh, that's the best way to look at the new F-150. And then, you know, with the 2.7, should you get this over the 5.0 or the uh, 3.5 liter EcoBoost, right? Um, here's what I have to say is, you know, obviously this is gonna be a little bit less expensive than uh, at least the EcoBoost, the 3.5 EcoBoost. I'm not sure about the 5.0 because I can't remember the cost on that one. Um, so let, let me know in the comment section below if, if the 5.0 is more or less expensive than this. I think it's a little bit more. But anyways, moving on from that, right? You know, you'll save a little bit of money with the cost of the truck. Fuel economy, though, is about the same as the 3.5. It obviously doesn't accelerate as quick as the 3.5, but it's still a very peppy engine. Um, so I guess if you want to save a little bit of money up front, you'll get that, but you're not really going to save money from a fuel economy perspective, it seems like, um, unless you have owned both, right? I've never owned a 2.7, so I can't comment, but if you've owned both and say that the 3.5 gets substantially worse, then yeah, again, let me know in the comment section. But, you know, from the EPA ratings, they're like the same. So I guess that like, I still understand why this engine is being produced, right? It still has value. Uh, but for me personally, uh, I guess I'd lean a little bit more towards the 3.5 um, just because fuel economy is about the same, but it has more power, more torque. And I'd be okay with paying a little bit of extra money to get the more premium powertrain. Um, but again, like I said, if you don't want to pay the extra money, I understand. And this is not a bad powertrain. It's like I said, super, super snappy, right? It's, it, it gets up and moves. It feels great. Torque is great. And so, yeah, that's the F-150 with the 2.7. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 Ford F-150 XLT with the 2.7. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.